there are certain aspects about You're Not Alone, the 2020 horror film, that I enjoyed. But for the most part, I feel like the narrative was very poorly developed. And where there was potential, it just didn't deliver. This is directed by Eduardo Rodriguez, written by Andrew Wong, and stars Katia Winter as Emma and Leah Catlett as Isla. And I have to say, um, Isla is the child in this. Uh, Leah Catlett is, is brilliant. I really loved her acting. I thought she was great, particularly during the more intense scenes. I always wonder how young children kind of cope with acting in horror films because sometimes it asks a lot of them. Absolutely marvellous. Uh, Katia Winter as Emma, I liked. I mean, I liked her acting, but I mean, Emma is a character. I I felt some connection with her. There was something about her that just, you know, I wanted to meet her. Obviously, she's a fictional character. Not going to happen. But I really liked the character of Emma. Emma. In terms of being scary, I will get to the narrative in a moment, but in terms of it being scary, um, yeah, jump scares a lot of the time. But not always. There's a scene where, without giving any spoilers, where somebody is really heavily banging on a door. And that scared me because that's the kind of thing that would scare me in real life. Films about ghosts and things I enjoy. But it's not as scary as an actual person very loudly banging on a front door trying to get into the house. Like that, that for me is terrifying. So there were certain things that I think made it a good horror in that aspect but the narrative itself not so much it seems like they were trying to make an interesting backstory i don't want to give too much away but basically the mother regains custody of her daughter and i won't say you know why she needed to regain custody or what was happening in the child's life but i feel like they were trying to make an interesting backstory But it kind of didn't weave effectively into the rest of the narrative. And we do have this character, Mark, um, very well played by Zach Avery, who adds a little something to it to make it more than just about the mother and daughter. He brings in a third person, if you like, to keep things a little bit more interesting. But ultimately, the narrative is very much nothing. And the things that happen in the house are just not that scary. And... Certainly, they would have been scary for the child, but things like the alarm going off every single night, you'd think, well, maybe you just need to get your wires rewired. You know, after a certain while, you're going to think that it's something electrical. I just felt like the narrative was really underdeveloped, where there was a lot of potential for it to be quite interesting. It wasn't the worst film in the world. As I said, there were certain aspects of it that I liked, certain things that did send a chill up my spine. But in terms of an interesting narrative... It's really got nothing to it. It's not very well written or developed at all. It did have potential. If somebody were to remake it, which I doubt would happen, I'd happily give it another go because I think the concept is interesting. The execution is not. Would I recommend it? To be honest, I'd recommend it if you're a horror fan, just purely because I believe people get different things out of different horror films depending on what scares you and what kind of thing you're into. But if you are looking specifically for a horror film with a well-developed narrative that you can really get your teeth into, You're Not Alone is definitely not the one.